question in this part we will see some important question from the topic graphing data structure theory these questions are important for interview test so let's start question number 1 define graph what is mean by graph a graph g is a set of two tuples g equals to v comma e where this v is a finite non empty set of vertices and e represent the edge e is the set of pair of vertices called edges here is the example here is the one graph g of different vertices and edge what edge present between the 1 and 2 2 and 5 4 and 5 Like. Question number two: Define the complete graph. A graph G is said to be complete if every vertex in a graph is adjacent to every other vertex. See, keep it in mind. Every vertex in a graph is adjacent to every other vertex. In this graph, number of edges equals to n into n minus 1 by 2 where n represent the number of vertices see here is a one vertex this connected to this then this second one third one and fourth one similarly for other vertices question number 3 define a cyclic graph a cyclic graph means a graph without cycle is called a cyclic graph means cycle should not be present between a graph okay here is one example 1 to 2 2 to 4 3 here edge is from 4 to different vertex then 6 to 5 6 3 3 here is the edge is present that is it from the 3 to 6 because it is directed from Question: Define adjacency matrix. What is mean by adjacency matrix? The graph, when represented using sequential representation using matrix, see here we are representing the graph using matrix, and this matrix is known as adjacency matrix. Here is the graph. Here is the vertices one, two, three, and four, and here we are representing the matrix of Means number of vertices is four, so you need to take the four rows and four columns. Okay, so one to four, edge is present here. So edge is present. So one. Suppose this is one, two, three, four. So you need to mark one here because one to four edge is present. Next question. Represent adjacency matrix of the following graph, and the graph is given here: one to zero, zero to three, three to two, two to one. Okay, this is undirected graph because direction is not specified. Here. See how many vertices? Four. One, two, three, four. Write the name of the vertices here in column also and in row also. One to zero. So take the row one. Two zero represent the one here because the edge present between the one to zero. So mark one here. Then one to two. So one to two represent the one here again. Okay. One to zero and one to two. There is no edge between the one to three. So in one to three mark it as a zero. Here is no self loop. So one to one represent the zero. Similarly for Other vertices we need to represent the one here. We need to write the matrix of the given graph. If the edge is present between that two vertices, then it represents the one. Otherwise, it represents the zero. Question number six: List out methods to represent the graph. Which methods you are using to represent the graph? And answer is. Sequential representation using arrays, that is adjacency matrix, is the one way to represent the graph. Second, adjacency list. Then, 
inverse adjacency means and adjacency multi-base representation. These are the different ways to represent the graph. Next question. What is inverse adjacency list? Inverse adjacency lists are a set of lists that contain one list for vertex. See here, contain one list for vertex. Each list contains a node per vertex adjacent to the vertex it represents. See here is a one graph and the list of lists. It determines the integrals of vertex. Question number eight. Write two applications of graph where you are using the graph most probably. So these are the advanced applications. Topological sort, spanning tree, minimal spanning tree, then sorted path tree, and many more. Question number nine. Which data structure used for BFS? BFS stands for bread per step. Okay, so pure data structure used in BFS. Suppose this is a graph, here we are using the Q to represent the vertices. Define the term topological sort. What is mean by topological sort? Topological sorting of vertices of a directed acyclic graph. See, sorting of vertices of a directed means if the direction is given, acyclic means cycle not, must not be there. Graph is an ordering of the vertices P1, P2, P3, in a such way that if there is an edge directed towards the vertex V, then from the vertex VI, then VI comes before VJ. See, here is the one graph is given and the political sorting of this graph is here. Thank you. And if you have any query regarding the any question, please type it in a comment box. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like and share.